Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. Today we had a question from a member of my Facebook group and Irene wanted to know she was having problems with an echo fill. And it just so happens that that was actually a portion of our five minute Fridays topic, assigning stitches to artwork. But we're going, in this video, we're going to address Irene's specific questions about echo quilting. So let's move over to Arden Stitch and get started. While I don't have the specific, specific file that Irene was dealing with, I tried to pick a similar um, situation which um, she had taken a photo of and showed to us the problems that she was having with the echo fill. I chose a lion um, that I used in our cropping the applique, cropping an applique class, which is found on my website. And this is an AccuQuilt um, applique shape, actually. And I created the outline shape of this lion by using my mark tool in Pro Stitcher Premium. And then I brought that in and I've used a uh, square from my drawing tools down here and drew the perimeter of the block and what she's trying to do is create echo quilting around this applique excluding the applique from the quilting program so i have of course redrawn i've gone back to artwork we have our line in our square and what we want to do to use the echo fill is select both pieces of artwork either by control a on your keyboard or selecting all the items from your sequence view right click on your mouse and go to transform artwork and exclude what that does is creates one piece of artwork with the outline of the applique lion excluded so now when we click on this item select it our echo fill lights up our echo fill tool and we're going to click on that now you see that our little wheel is spinning and it does take some time art and stitch is going to say not responding but don't panic it's like with anything where it's got to think about the process and assign stitches it takes a little while for it to think through so be patient and just give it some time. Don't, don't start clicking on other things there. It's, it's done our assignment. And if we zoom in using our zoom tool, you'll see that yes, we got a little bit of wonky outlines. And if we go to our reshape tool, you'll see that only our applique portion is being selected. We can't click on any of these echo quilting outlines so you can't change in the reshape tool but you can go under the sequence view to the properties tab and you can change this now 10 millimeters is pretty close uh, 25 millimeters is actually a quarter inch away from everything so let's change the spacing maybe this is too tight to begin with so we'll change the spacing to 25 millimeters and we'll patiently wait again take some time for it to recalculate you know how your re your GPS is recalculating and that seemed to make things worse. We've got more jiggity jags. Well, what, what could be the reason? I'm going to try and zoom out on this. And it's still thinking, still recalculating. Okay, so now you can see we've we've got a few 
few jigs and jags in there. Let's go back to our sequence view and we'll go to the reshape tool and click on that lion area. I want you to note that the number of nodes in this design and those were probably created when I clicked the mark tool um, in the outline of uh, the Lion, the applique in Pro Stitcher Premium, and that's a lot more nodes than we really need. So let's go to our next workspace. I recreated in the same block, same lion, select the lion, and yes, he has the same number of nodes. That's actually too many for this, so let's simplify that. So I am going to go back to select have that lion selected and I'm going to right click on my mouse down to simplify smoothen and click OK and now we'll take a look at that lion and that got rid of a lot of dots but there's still um, quite a few that we can still smooth out so go ahead and repeat simplify smoothen as many times as you need Remember, select the item, right click, simplify smoothen, click OK. Go back, looks a little better. We reduce the number of nodes and let's see now what our result, what result we can get. Select all items again, remember, right click, transform artwork, exclude, while the item selected, go ahead and click Echo Fill. Remember, patience is a virtue. And there we have our lion. Things are a little bit smoother this time. Let's go into Properties, change that back to 30 again. Click Apply or Enter on your keyboard. And much smoother results. So I hope, Irene, that answers your question. Give it a try with the shape that you're dealing with. And until we meet next time, I wish you happy quilting. Remember, Drop me a line by email, contact me through my website, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining me. Bye for now.